Hey guys, I'm the Happy Mad Scientist, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I built my air cannon. Now, this is my latest version. I've built uh, multiple air cannons, most of them being in PVC. Now, PVC over time gets brittle, it gets scary to fill because you just don't know if it's going to blow up in your face or not. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this old fire extinguisher and I'm going to use that for my air chamber, and then I'm going to JB weld some black iron pipe, which is rated for insane pressures most of the time. And I'm going to JB weld that to the inside of the fire extinguisher. Now that should provide a super airtight fit and JB weld is super strong, it's an industrial epoxy. But yeah, I'm going to take the top off, the valve off the top, the plastic valve. Uh, it's of no use to me right now. Uh, and I'm going to take all the powder out and store that in a plastic container so I can use it in future videos or put out to put out fires, whatever I need to do. But I'm going to save that, I'm not going to throw that away. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm just dry fitting uh, all the parts together just to make sure I have enough parts uh, and make sure everything fits together. And I'm actually missing one adapter going from the 3 quarter inch to the 1 inch. I can weld this because the 1 inch fits right over the 3 quarter inch pipe. And the weld is really quite strong, you could have no problem sealing it. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thread these fittings together with some uh, TFE paste. Now this TFE paste is rated for I think 3000 PSI air and uh, around 6 or 7000 PSI with the fluid. So that's a considerable amount of pressure. I won't be putting near that much pressure in this thing. I put around 160 PSI max. So it's a little overkill. Um, Teflon tape would be just as good. But we use this stuff in hydraulics. We have a bunch of it and it was getting old. So I decided to use this instead. But yeah, you just slather some on the outside of the threads and uh, twist it into the fitting and let it dry for 24 hours. And then it's a really great seal. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to take the Schrader valve and I'm going to put it into the black pipe that I have already drilled and threaded. I'm going to use a socket this time rather than an adjustable wrench. Uh, I learned my lesson in the last video. A box wrench would also work, but socket worked really well for me. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to put some JB Weld on the inside of the fire extinguisher on its threads and then I'll put some on the threads of the black iron pipe. And then I'll fit them together and kind of smooth it around the edge. And what that's going to do is it's just going to create a lot of surface area 
it, it should be strong enough to hold back the pressure I'm going to put, be putting in it um, because it has both um, the outside threads of the black iron pipe and the inside threads of the fire extinguisher to latch onto. So overall, I think it would be really strong, but just to be safe, I'm going to add a pipe clamp. Okay, well it's all done. The JB Weld is hardened and cured. The pipe clamp is installed and I have a piece of PVC pipe. Uh, the PVC pipe is 3 quarter inch and it fits a paintball and a CO2 canister nicely. I just have it attached to the ball valve with a slip to thread adapter. But yeah, I also made this adapter for the Schrader valve so I can remotely fill it or just have constant filling. So I just attach the air hose to that and every time I pull the valve, it lets the air out and every time when I close it, it'll just fill it right away. I won't have to mess with any things yeah okay all right here goes pvc What's the bolt in it? This is test two. <laughs> that actually is loud enough to muffle my ears. It feels like I just shot a 410, that's what it is. 410 shotgun. Let's view the damage. All right, so as you can see here, it went right through, that's a new hole right there. Went right through that uh, three quarter inch plywood. It continued through into, see one, it went through this, these two pieces of OSB and uh, Punch kind of half of a hole through there. Oh my. It split. I didn't think it was going to do that, but it split this uh, two by material. It's like a two by ten or something. Whew. Wow. <laughs> that thing is an absolute beast. I hope you, I hope the, uh, the I hope it showed how much it kicks. Whew, it really, really, really kicks. All right guys, that's it for this video. I had a ton of fun making this and I had a ton of fun shooting it. A lot more fun shooting it. Um, if you wanna see anything shot out of it or anything shot with it, um, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can put that into a future video if you want to see just another video of just Just slow motion shots of this just shooting stuff like a cinder block or something like that um, Let me know and I'll I'll see what I can do uh, But thanks for watching um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, See you next time